ask you this, the logistics. You saw the timeline there. Uh, that's in the middle of running for president, caucuses, primaries. How do you logistically handle, you know, prepping a client for all of those different trials and running for president of the United States? Yeah, if it was a normal person, honestly, Shannon, I could understand the concern. President Trump is not your average person. He's incredibly intelligent and he knows the ropes. He also knows the facts because he lived them. These are these are not complicated facts. Look at Fanny. It was a phone call, a phone call that's been around forever that he refers to as the perfect phone call. What is he going to have to be prepped for? The truth? You don't have to prep much when you've done nothing wrong. So that I'm not concerned with. These trials dates also are going to move. It's unrealistic, it's theatrics, and no judge is going to say that you can be on two trials at once in two different states, because a lot of these overlap. They look at the start date of the trial, mm -hmm. but these are four to six week trials at the uh, least. Mm -hmm. So there's no way they're not going to overlap. I mean, they're going to have to go into October, November of next year, again, by design. Mm -hmm. But in terms of President Trump, the candidate, I have zero concerns. Okay. Look at his poll numbers, and he didn't even go to the debate. Yeah, the, the, the numbers are through the roof. But to be fair, that Georgia indictment is very lengthy, ties in a lot of people and a lot more than just that one phone call. But that certainly seems to be at the center of what Fonnie Willis is building her case on. There are also, let me look back at one of